Hey, happy Thursday. I am, I just had some sleepy time tea um, to, cause I'm winding down for the night. So I just wanted to go live real quick because I can't believe it. I'm probably I'm trying, I'm gonna try not to cry. I'm sorry, I'm leaning against the wall cause I don't have anything to lean against. I'm kind of sitting next to my bed on the floor. But um, for those that have been following my journey, I've been running, rubbing the heck out of my eyes. It just means I'm probably tired. Time to go to bed. Um, my goal for August um, is to get more sleep, meaning bed by nine or sooner. So I'm about to hit the rack. So um, basically, I read this amazing book called Girl, Wash Your Face. And it was really eye-opening, lots of tough love. Um, I'm an online fitness coach, and part of my growth is reading a lot of books, a lot of personal development books. And I never knew anything about um, self-help books or personal development books until I became a coach. So I've been learning a lot about myself, a lot. And I really love that book, um, and I'm not really into like business books, but I like mom books like Girl, Wash Your Face, um, cause I feel like it's kind of businessy and mommy at the same time. And the other book I really like is Pretty Happy by Kate Hudson, especially on audio. And I love anything by The Secret. Um, and then of course I have my fun fiction books like, uh, um, Outlander series, which I don't know if you guys saw the trailer. I'm so excited. It's coming out in the fall. So I'm really, really glad, even though it felt like that they took forever, that they're really doing right by the, the author is involved and they're doing right for all the fans. So to make a long story short, um, that's how I started this challenge with hubby. Um, basically there's a chapter in the book in the middle. I don't know what chapter it is because I actually paid the gift forward and gave the book to a friend, um, talking about being intimate with your spouse and for 30 days and um it was a challenge that she did and i was like you know what i really want to do that i really want to reconnect with my spouse we've been married 23 years um we got um we eloped um when i was 19 literally only dated for a month we were friends for a year but not like anything further than that and um we um eloped after a month of dating and we've been married 23 years so um, and I know that you guys have been following my journey um, in regards to me and my husband being intimate for 30 days. So I love the book so much. Um, me and my hubby, you know, when you've been married for so long, it's a long time to love somebody. Um, I was like, you know what? I really want to reconnect with my spouse. Let me go ahead and do this. And I told him about it back in... May I think and I and I picked July because I knew I was traveling in June and the commitment is to have sex with your spouse for 30 days so um, I told him in May I'm like I'm reading this book um, we should recommit and like let's try the challenge and he like looked at me like I was crazy and then he goes, okay, I'm down. I'm like, okay, I'm down. I said, July, since I'm not traveling. He goes, okay. So we finished it. We did it for 30 days. Um, and I'm trying not to cry because it was a lot. It was really intense. Um, it was, we had to do the challenge. It didn't matter like our circumstance, if we were super tired, um, if we had a lot of plans. Um, and we did it. There was one day that we missed and we just had it carried over yesterday. So um, we learned a lot about each other all over again. We reconnected, you know, it's not like we don't love each other, but it was just a time that we needed to just be with each other, you know, not have electronics around us all the time. He's a gamer, so he's always gaming, and me, I'm always in the living room. So it's not like we don't see each other, but I just miss the intimacy, the closeness, talking to each other, um, waking up together, going to bed together. Um, now, it wasn't all perfect. Um, sometimes he still had to wake me up because he's a gamer. Um, and I talked. To, I told him, I said, what did you think? We did it. I was like we did it like legit he goes 
it was daunting it was tiring but it was worth it and it was kind of like it brought out the old you and I'm like it brought out the old me he's like yeah so you know ex experimenting doing things we hadn't done in years and so I'm really grateful for the challenge um, it was of course daunting but emotionally it was worth it and um, I can't say enough about it I do challenge the spouses that have been together for a long long time to try it uh, if you feel like you've been missing your spouse and missing the connection and, and intimacy you might relearn things about each other uh, feel more um, connected um, and I don't know I told him I said let's not wait because I was like he goes how about the challenge of not doing it for 30 days I said we've done that before too he goes I said let's not wait 30 days again he goes okay so I really really loved it I'm so thankful for it it brought us in closer um, not like we weren't close already but it just brought the connection back again and brought the emotional connection back again and um, yeah so Anyways, um, I hope this inspired someone. Uh, definitely pick up that book. It's called Girl, Wash Your Face by Rachel Hollis. She has a really fun Instagram account. Um, and um, she also has a podcast that's free. Um, and definitely get it on audio if you are super busy because I heard the audio is just ama as amazing as the um, book itself. And you can take time out for you. I can't say enough about definitely get in more podcasts. Definitely get in some self-help self-help book because you guys are worth it you guys are definitely worth it me and hubby were worth it and i'm so thankful for it and so it's never too late to get that connection reconnection back with your spouse and so yeah i hope you guys have a great rest of your evening and feel free to reach out to me if you have any questions about it um, or about anything and i really appreciate all the following on my fan page it means the world to me more than you know I'm just a normal busy mom, Lola, who is just trying to find her way and figure things out. And I think I am. And I'll talk to you guys soon.